Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'm Pippi Peterson. So if you've got an RV, you may already know that they're not that great at insulating, uh, whether it be uh, hot outside or cold outside. So one of the best things that I've found, because it seems that the biggest temperature uh, loss locations are the windows, because one, they're, they're only, um, single like one single panel and some of the windows like this one back here it's just the kind that you roll and it goes out and you roll it back and goes back in so I'm thinking these are even worse than just a regular window where it's all sealed um, anyway and I also found too that the metal around the window it'll when the sun's shining on it it'll get really hot and you can just put your hand like you know pretty close and feel the heat so it's kind of its own little heater and I wouldn't be surprised if when it's cold outside it's kind of sucking the hot air out uh, through these uh, locations so I found that using this material this is the reflectix material I use the same thing on my roof it's just double-sided silver and it's got the kind of the bubble wrap in it so if you put these over your window, it makes a miraculous difference. It's almost necessary. Like you, you almost have to do this. So of course that's only in extreme temperatures, whether it's really hot or really cold, or if you just want to, um, save a little bit of, uh, inside temperature during the night, it's also nice to put up because it's a, it's a total blackout, which is really nice. So anyway, um, I did a little bit of investigating, you know, I thought, oh, I can put it up with Velcro and liquid nails, but that didn't work. <laughs> I, I don't suggest it. And then I thought, well, I could drill, uh, you know, little pieces of Velcro. I could drill them into the wall and then staple them into this, but a staple seems to be able to pull out of these pretty easy. So I finally figured out a way to keep these up and it's pretty much by using just these little hooks that are super cheap and easy to get, like almost anywhere. Um, a hook, some duct tape, and a little bit of uh, string because these things are so lightweight. I got a, I think I got, I may have gone like 60 feet 60 feet by four feet and the entire roll which was like this it was like the size of a residential water heater or at least the old ones whoops where did it go it weighed like less than 20 pounds so as you can imagine like a little piece like this weighs almost nothing probably a bowl of cereal just the cereal alone weighs more than this guy so anyway um it's really easy to put these up. Depending on what kind of hook you get, um, the sticker might be on the back. But I got the kind that you can remove later if necessary. So I'm just gonna put this right up here. If your window is any more than this distance, which a lot of windows might be, like the ones up, uh, almost all my windows in the front, the two long, long ones on the uh, side and then the ones on the, next to the driving and passenger area, those ones are really long. So I actually use two of these so that it uh, would kind of distribute and it wouldn't uh, make this thing bend. You know, because if you have like a really long piece and you put it just here, um, it can it can bend a little bit. Anyway, so two is better with the long one. So with the short one, I'm just going to do one. So I'll take a couple pieces of duct tape.
so I can center my string right about in the middle. And when I put this up and folded the duct tape over, I found it more beneficial to have the the duct tape go all the way around the string versus um, have the string touch the reflectix. So meaning that I've kind of gotten the string solid in the taped area and then the reflectix is kind of its own little section down here. That way it's less likely for the string to pull out. Not that it would on its own because this thing is so light, but possibly if uh, the curtain caught it or something like that. All right, so now I've just pretty much fastened a little string up here and it can hang right up here on the hook. And then I've got my reflectix there. So this is a really easy fix. It's a lot easier than trying to balance a reflectix or somehow temporarily fasten it with glue or Velcro. Uh, and then it just hangs there. And then you can bring this over the top too. Um, that can go up or down, it doesn't matter. So there is an easy way to insulate your RV a little bit, add some blackout to your room, for example, at night, and uh, and have it easily uh, come undone without having too much of an eyesore like the Velcro might be. It's just this little clear guy up here. So yeah, if I don't want him, I could just take him down. Another location in your RV that is going to be a great place to put insulation and will really cover a lot of square footage and surface area is inside your cabinets. Sometimes when it's really hot outside, I'll open up one of my cabinets and I'll just feel the heat come out. So this is a great place where you can add like some insulation and uh, no one sees the ugly silverness. And you can put this like all along your, your cabinets. Don't forget your ceiling vents too, which are a huge sinkhole for temperature, especially heat, since they're in the ceiling, the heat will rise. You can use rigid insulation. I've got leftover from my wall insulation, some that's about an inch and a half, and it slips right into the overhead vents really easily. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you get some ideas and inspiration. And uh, check out my RV Living Forum at pipnings.com. There's a lot of information up there. You can post questions and read answers, as well as uh, you can read my blog is on the same website at pippinings.com, and you can get your Keep It Simple bumper sticker. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.